Even if you quick, you fucking own it, dude. You're not apologetic about the whole thing. I'm not like, oh my God, I'm like so sorry. Oh my, like this is so embarrassing. Like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Like, blah, blah. like let, let's do it again. Let's do it again, please. Like, let me make it up to you. Nah, dude, like just own it. I mean, look, do everything you can to like not bust that quick. Even if you're gonna like, you're better off just pulling your dick out and holding off and literally just telling the girl, shit, I'm about to fucking already. Holy shit. Like, I'd rather you tell her that and not bust your load versus like you keep your pride in for whatever reason, you keep it in for another 10 seconds, you're actually and then it's like officially over. Like I'd rather like you pull your out and just talk to the girl through the whole thing. Like, holy shit, my dick wants to fucking explode already. You're so fucking hot. Oh my God. Hold on, we gotta calm down. I'll just like play with her, start touching her a little bit. And I'll like put my dick in a little bit. If I'm gonna come again, like I stop fucking her. I'll just keep my dick inside. I won't move at all and just start playing with her. I'd much rather you just do that for five minutes than 10 second, two pump chump. And then I'm like, but God forbid you do bust early, like just own it. It's not like weak or ashamed or like low value or embarrassed. It's like you're in disbelief that you came so quick because you're so attracted to her, because the sex was so hot. It was uncontrollable. Oh, that was so fucking hot. I can't control myself around you. You know, long term, like I said, you do want to strive to get better, but like, I'm just talking about the girl's reaction from the whole thing. Cause essentially like, she's just analyzing like how you're behaving through the whole thing, really. So as long as you're like calm, confident, relaxed, not a big deal, then it's really not a big deal for the most part. If it's strictly a lust thing and she's literally just there strictly to fuck you, then she may actually be a little disappointed. But again, as long as you're confident about the whole thing, you can just laugh it off. And most of the girls are gonna be, especially if it was quick, most of the girls are gonna be down for round two. As long as you're like cool about the whole thing, or you're showing effort that you wanna please her through the whole thing too. Which is why it's important that you don't just bust because like literally just busting first five seconds shows like I didn't give a fuck. If you pull out and you're like, oh my God, I'm about to fucking I'm already, holy shit. But so hot, like, I don't want to. I want to fucking please you too. Oh my god. F the stroke and the speed of the stroke and the position will kind of dictate sensitivity. I try to go into positions that I know I could last longer, and I do certain strokes that I know I could last longer in too. We talk more about this in this module, but. You want to think about it like maximum stimulation is going to be me going all the way in, all the way out every single stroke. Even right now, I don't even care if I fuck the last three days. If my girl is on the couch with her ass up and I'm just going, I could bust in 10 seconds, bro. But I could also fuck the girl for 30, 45 minutes if it's done the right way. It's all about speed and control and breaking at the right times and also like or as a management, if that makes sense, like not going too far to pass the point of no return. There's just like certain positions that I know are better than others. Like doggy, I'm gonna really quick. If I'm going all the way in, all the way out, I'm gonna quick. But I found like missionary, if I just keep it all the way in and I'm just like grinding while thrusting, my never really comes out. Like instead of going like this, I'm just in there and, and we're like this a little bit. If I ever need to, I'll just pull out completely and just rub it on her clit. You could go back in or you could even just go with the head in just for a little bit nice and slow. Take your time leading up to going all the way in. Like you don't need to just go all the way in. The buildup to going all the way in can take five minutes if you take your time with it. So if I already spent like 10 minutes making out with her, five, 10 minutes like just playing with her and then another five minutes just getting in and then maybe I only go for a couple minutes or like after two minutes you can keep it in and then you're going like this or then you just keep it all the way in and then I'll just like play with her while my all the way in but just rubbing on her clit like slowly. I'll calm down enough to be able to go a little bit more. The brand of condom is important too, because if you get like an ultra thin or a bearskin condom, you'll be able to come really quick. Ultra ribbed, I think is probably a little bit thicker of a condom, which can play a part in the sensation. I'll get back to the video in one second, guys, but really quickly, if you're interested in working with me personally, if you wanna implement the concepts taught in this video into your own life to actually get you a real result, click the link in the description, fill out the application down there. You could book out a free consultation call so we could discuss further details. With that being said, let's get back to the video. Either way, no matter what's going on, worst case scenario, it's totally okay to pull your dick out and chill the fuck out. What's more important is you're just calm, cool, not weak or weird or nervous at the fact that these things are happening. Also, if like you're just constantly pulling out and going down, you understand it's a different sensation for the girl to go from like there's 
vaginal penetration form of sensation. Then there's clitoral sensation. The way you get a girl off is through continuous rising of pleasure. For me, I like to start f***ing her. I'm lightly playing with her clit, especially in the beginning, like very lightly playing with her clit. And then I can balance between keeping my in, grinding it all the way in, or thrusting while playing with her pussy, or keeping it all the way in and playing with her pussy, or worst case, absolute worst case scenario, if I need to, I'll take it out and play with her pussy. Or if I'm gonna take it out, I probably will put my fingers back in at the same time, so that way the stimulation isn't like completely dying off at any point. The one other thing I'll say is stroke speed. I'll go in, deep plus grinding and in but then also on the way out i'm really slow on the negative it's gonna like drag out the rep so to speak which obviously leads to less stimulation in that moment so you could like slow out nice speed and then deep in it's like a deep slow stroke it can be an aggressive masculine way of the girl even though you're going slow hard doesn't mean i need to beat that shit up like i could still go slow like And then since I'm already in, I could go in like two, two, or if I'm starting to get close, I'll just keep it in. Or if I'm like really close, I'll just keep it in, in, and then like start playing with the at the same time. Okay, so you can kind of like play around with these concepts. And then also switching positions if needed too. And then the other thing is like Kegels. A Kegel is essentially practicing flexing the muscle that holds back an orgasm, which is the same muscle that holds back Imagine you were f***ing and you were midstream and then you just stopped your pee. So you can do Kegels in sets of like 20, 30, 50 as a workout. You could do that like three sets to five sets, 10 sets. You can make that muscle stronger. You're going to be able to hold back your orgasm too. It's like if you're rising, like you're just like stronger at preventing it from going over the threshold. And one other thing I've noticed as I've gotten like older or I guess more just like practice from having is that like, I can go like almost to the brink and like hold it back. Cause pretty much if you go past the point of no return, it's gonna ejaculate. But then like you've gone too far at that point. If you could stop it right at around the brink where you kind of pulse like once or twice, but you don't actually fully orgasm. And then you just chill out for like the next three, five, 10 seconds without penetration. Your will stay hard, but it's like it had like a tiny, tiny orgasm, but it didn't go past the point of no return to the point you go flat. It'll like pulse but you like controlled it and then it's almost like you go past the orgasm so you're able to stay hard again and your pleasure tolerance kind of resets so you can keep going that way. So the way you could practice doing that is called edging. Edging is essentially just masturbating, pretty much masturbating up until the point where you're about to orgasm and then removing like 95% of the pleasure but just keeping like two, 3% of the pleasure on so you're just dancing at the brink of orgasm them, but you don't work and you stay at that position for a little bit and you completely stop pleasing yourself and allow your pleasure meter to go all the way back down and you slowly build it up again dance at that border bring it back down you do that like 10 times or like 20 times even and that's going to train your body and the mind muscle connection to like not bust the load like when you're on the brink of yeah, so if you do all of these things, plus you start like actually experimenting with different techniques and dirty talk and all of these things, like you're gonna get to a point where like you could please the girl pretty fucking well. If you're interested in learning more about these principles, if you wanna work with me personally to implement this stuff into your own life, I can help you with that. I'm the fucking guy for that, okay? Click the link in the description. You can fill out an application and book a free consultation call for an opportunity to work with me personally. The link is in the description. I've helped hundreds, if not thousands of men over the last couple years make massive transformations in their dating life. I know what the fuck I'm doing. I've created a coaching program where we can work with you directly, give you live feedback, show you the entire step-by-step -step structure to bring you from where you are right now to achieving the dating life of your dreams, okay? Click the link below, book out that free consultation call so we can discuss more details about it. That's all for this video, guys. Until next time, Coach Kyle signing out. Peace out.